Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers EPA reach out. What do you see? Can you see the difference between a completion and incompletion between a two count and interception between a good quarterback and great quarterback that is the force? That is balance. That is what makes darker forces like Kirk Cousins and Blake Bortles worthy of starting consideration this week in the fantasy playoffs. But there also is light, like the return of Aaron Rodgers. But as tempting as the dark side may be this week, the madman is here to guide you in the ways of the fantasy force. Perhaps you fear Rodgers because he is returning from an eight-week absence after collarbone surgery. But remember fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, and hate leads to suffering. Start the wrong QB over Rodgers this week, and you might be left feeling quite angry as he carves up a vulnerable Panthers secondary Sunday. You might end up hating yourself for your decision. Your fantasy team could suffer an eliminating loss. We always have some level of concern regarding players returning off a long layoff. Rodgers has been throwing steadily over the past few weeks. He has not been listed on this week's injury report, signifying he is practicing in. This type of progress lessens our layoff concerns. On paper, this does not look like a plus matchup for the Packers passing game. But look deeper, at the forces behind those numbers. The Panthers rank near the top in sack totals third, yet near the bottom in interceptions tied for 27th. They also blitz more frequently than any team in the league other than the Browns. This suggests a team that is relying on the strength of the front seven and coverage schemes to hide a weaker secondary. Drew Brees, Tom Brady, Carson Wentz, Matt Ryan and Josh McCown have posted strong fantasy weeks against Carolina. Even Case Keenum had a decent fantasy game there last week. Oh, and TH Panthers have allowed the second most fantasy points to QBs on average since week 10. The Panthers built their statistical strength against QBs like Brian Hoyer, Tyrod Taylor, Mitchell Trubisky, Jameis Winston and Jay Cutler. There are a rare few exceptions who take precedence over Rodgers this week. The Seahawks' reliance on Russell Wilson and his continued ability to deliver makes him unbenchable. The expected shootout between the Patriots and the Steelers has us prioritizing Brady and Ben Roethlisberger. That's it. End of list. We play Rodgers over Breeze. Game flow could render the Saints' passing game unneeded. Over Cam Newton, similar ceilings, but we like Rodgers' floor better. Over Philip Rivers, over Dak Prescott and Kirk Cousins, Jimmy Garoppolo and any other name you want to add. Avoid the fear. Avoid the suffering. Force yourself to play Rodgers. Big Weeks Blake Bortles QB, Jaguars, versus Texans FanDuel $7,400 DraftKings $5,700 has three straight solid fantasy weeks, now gets a pass defense that has been a sieve most of the season. Banged up Leonard Fournette adds to Bortles' value. Latavius Murray RB, Vikings, versus Bengals FD $6,200 DK $4,900 in weekly lot versus Jarek McKinnon toss-up, Bengals have been as generous in standard formats as PPR since week 10. Give us the TD guy in possible out. Jay Ajavi RB, Eagles, at Giants, FD $6,100, DK $5,000 with QB Carson Wentz out, expecting more of run game. Ajavi touches have been increasing steadily. Larry Fitzgerald WR, Cardinals, at Redskins FD $7,300, DK $6,900 working mostly out of slot, not worried about matchup versus CB, Josh Norman, Small Weeks Matthew Stafford QB, Lions, versus Bears FD $8,300, DK $6,400, Chicago has allowed just four opposing QBs to top 15 fantasy points this season. Bears still playing with purpose. DeMarco Murray RB, Titans, at 49ers FD $6,000, DK $4,700 over season, 49ers rank near the bottom in stopping fantasy RBs. But big but, they have been the stiffest versus RBs in PPR over their past four games. DeAndre Hopkins WR, Texans, at Jaguars FD $8,200, DK $7,700, disclaimer no, you can't sit him during the playoffs in seasonal leagues but lower expectations and make upside decisions elsewhere to balance. Tyreek Hill WR, Chiefs, versus Chargers FD $8,200, DK $6,400. The Chargers have been the stingiest defense outside of Denver against opposing WRs since Week 10. The decision post-fantasy madman Drew Loftus and Roto Rage Jared Wilk debate whom you should start this week's Omaha Perini versus 
Jamal Williams Jamal Williams and Somahe Paranagetti Images A P. Drew Perini The Cardinals have been just a run-of-the-mill defense against opposing fantasy RBs over the past five games. Meanwhile, Perrine's usage has shot up since the injury to Chris Thompson. Facing a defense that fares better versus the pass than the run, expecting significant opportunities for the rookie. With Aaron Rodgers back, less emphasis on Williams and the Packers' ground attack versus the Stout Panthers' front. Jared Williams, yes, the Panthers' rush defense is allowing the third-fewest fantasy points. Yes, Rodgers' return should put more of an emphasis on the passing game. But, this does not mean Williams will be forgotten. This is a player who has compiled 5 TDs and 461 all-purpose yards over his past four games, 186 receiving yards. He's the number one RB for the Packers, and every part of that offense clicks on all cylinders when Rodgers is behind the wheel. Last week Jared 20.8 Philip Rivers, 319 pass yards, 2 TDs, Drew 19.2 Case Keenum, 280 pass yards, 2 TDs, 2 INTs, 40 rush yards season Drew lead series, 86 tweet of the week is it just me, or could compiled NFL IR list be a Super Bowl contender, DJ, Cook, Odell, JJ, A. Watson, Joe Thomas, Eric Berry, Shazier, Edelman, etc. NFL, Drew Loftus at night post. Loftus December 11, 2017 Week 15 and D's Bills, 49ers, Redskins, Cardinals, Falcons.